So welcome to this Essential Oils 101 class where we're going to cover um, all the basics of everything you need to know about using doTERRA essential oils. So before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about my essential oil journey and why I got started with doTERRA essential oils. So I had been seeing essential oils kind of pop up on social media a lot over the past few years, but didn't really pay much attention to them because I thought that essential oils weren't really for me. I guess I had this stereotype in my head of what essential oil users look like and I didn't think that that was me. And then it wasn't until my cousin posted a picture on her social media of an all-purpose cleaner that she had made using essential oils that I kind of started to pay more attention. And at the same time, I was pregnant with my second child. And obviously, when you're pregnant, you start to think a lot more about what you're putting in your body, um, what you're inhaling, and also what you're putting onto your skin as well. So... Seeing that post from her, I was also going through that kind of nesting period in pregnancy where you're kind of furiously cleaning and tidying up and it made me kind of look a, more into what products I was using in my home and I was really surprised to find that actually there are far more toxins inside of our home than outside of our home. Um, so I was really keen to learn more about how essential oils could be used in my home to provide a safer environment for my children and also for myself. And when I then started thinking a lot more about essential oils, I realized that I had actually been using them for many years and just not even really realized. So I'd used um, tea tree oil for blemishes. I'd used rescue remedy before to help calm nerves before big presentations at work. I used clary sage to try to start labor with my daughter. Um, and I've used lavender oil on my pillow or in a diffuser to help with sleep for many years. So actually essential oils weren't new to me. I just wasn't really aware that I was using them. So I guess my goal with starting the Clove Collective is for you to hopefully realise that essential oils are for everyone and that you can find some really easy ways to incorporate them into your home to support um, yours and your family's health and to also reduce those toxins in your home too. So... What we're going to go through in this class is what essential oils are, why you may choose doTERRA essential oils over other companies, how to use essential oils, doTERRA's top 10 oils, and also how to get these oils into your home if you're interested in getting started. So before we go any further, I want to just talk to you about the fact that essential oils aren't intended to treat, cure, or prevent disease. And doTERRA is very clear about that. This is not what their essential oils are designed to do. What essential oils can do, however, is to help support your body to fight off any particular things that it may be struggling with. So essential oils are a great first-line defense for occasional or mild issues that may arise in your home. As always, though, and with anything to do with your health, please always check with a health professional before starting something new, especially if you have an existing condition or you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding or you're wanting to use a particular product on your children. So what are essential oils? So if you've ever enjoyed the scent of a rose, you've experienced the aromatic qualities of essential oils. So essential oils are the immune system of the plant and it's, they're found within the bark, the leaves or the rind or the petal of the plant. And they're what keeps it healthy and thriving and it's nature's defense mechanism. So essential oils protect plants from bugs and from disease. And the essential oils that we experience in a bottle are those that have been extracted through steam distillation um, or through cold press um, to extract those essential oils. And Essential oils are pure extracts from plants and they're 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So they're very highly concentrated. So to give you an example of that, one drop of peppermint oil is the equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So a little bit goes a long way. So they're a natural and a safe way to give your body exactly what it needs. And because animals and plants and humans, we all have similar kind of um, cells, essential oils, because they're from plants, are actually able to penetrate human cells, whereas something like antibiotics can't. And applying essential oils to somewhere like the bottoms of our feet, essential oils can actually enter our bloodstream within 30 seconds. So essential oils and human cells work really well together. 
So essential oils aren't new. They've been used for many, many years in food, in food preparation, in beauty treatment and in healthcare practices. And we can use them for health and emotional benefits and also for reducing toxins in our home. So why doTERRA essential oils? So there are kind of four main reasons. So essential oils are a really unregulated market. So currently a company may label an oil as pure, but it may actually only contain 10% of the essential oil and the rest of that bottle may be just filled with a filler. So when you purchase from doTERRA though, you're purchasing oils that are carefully distilled from plants that have been harvested from around the world, depending on where that plant indigenously grows. And this ensures the highest quality product. So through doTERRA's co-impact sourcing, they work with farmers all over the world to source their oils and also support the local farming community. So for example, doTERRA harvests their tea tree and eucalyptus oils right here from within Australia because that's where they grow best. They get Douglas fir from New Zealand, lavender is from France, and lemon and bergamot are from Italy. So they are ensuring that the plants that they get these pure essential oils from are in the best condition possible. And they're also helping to support the farmers in that particular area. So that's one reason to choose do doTERRA. Another reason is that every single batch of doTERRA oils is thoroughly tested using the certified pure therapeutic grade quality protocol to ensure its purity. So at the bottom of every bottle you'll find a code and you can use that code to look up a quality report for the oil in that particular bottle now really importantly this code is sorry this report is generated by an independent third-party lab so you know that it's not doTERRA that have just produced these reports it's a completely independent lab and through that report, you can see that what is in your doTERRA bottle is 100% pure oil. There are no fillers in there. And that's through the Source to You website um, that you can generate those reports for every single bottle of oil that you own. So first kind of really main reason is that you are getting 100% pure essential oils from doTERRA. And then the other main reason to choose doTERRA over another essential oil um, company is because of the ongoing education and support that you receive. So doTERRA is a network marketing company and most people cringe at that. I know that I cringed at that initially as well. But doTERRA was really specific about choosing this model of distributing their oils. When you buy essential oils from a store or from a pharmacy or from a supermarket, you don't receive any ongoing education or support about how to use that oil safely and effectively. And doTERRA understands that while these oils are really safe, they're very powerful products and they need to be treated with respect and understanding. So it requires ongoing education and the need to be plugged in with the community so that you can use these oils safely and in a responsible way. And you need to feel confident using them, um, especially if you're using them with your family. And a network marketing model allows this kind of ongoing support and education. So when you get started with doTERRA, you're automatically linked in. And in your case, it would be that you're linked in with me to provide that ongoing education and support. So you'll join a community where you get where you get to join members only Facebook groups where you can ask questions, ongoing education sessions, newsletters, and also the, the ability to be able to contact me at any time to ask any questions that you might have. So that's why you would choose doTERRA. And now I want to talk a little bit about how to use your essential oils. So there are three main ways that you might use your essential oils and aromatically is probably the way that we're most familiar with. And this would be by simply putting oils in a diffuser and diffusing them into the air. So not only is it going to make your house, house smell nice, but you're also going to get any benefits of those particular oils um, that you have in there. So putting them in a, in a diffuser is a great way, self-diffusing, and what I mean by this is either sniffing an oil directly from a bottle, placing a drop on your hand and rubbing your hands together and then inhaling deeply from your hands, or even putting a drop in your hand and then rubbing it through your hair. Is, your hair is a great um, diffuser as well. So you could also pop it into a spray bottle and mix with some water so that you can spray it into the air as like a linen spray or just a room spray. And another great way is to pop... Um, a drop of essential oil at the bottom of your shower and when you turn the shower on that oil will start to diffuse so you get to kind of inhale um, the scent of that oil that way as well 
So unlike our other senses, our olfactory sense or the sense of smell is connected with the primary emotion areas in our brain, so the amygdala and the hippocampus. And scientists suggest that this is why smells are able to trigger certain emotions and memories in within us more so than other senses. So that's why oils can sometimes have a calming effect or an uplifting effect on us. Um, so using them aromatically as well is also a great way to cleanse the air, so by killing germs and bacteria too. So aromatically is one way to use them. Topically is another way to use your essential oils. And this means basically applying them directly to your skin. So it's great if you need a localized effect, like for example, if you have a sore back or a skin irritation. Um, you can place the essential oil exactly where you need um, that particular sport, um, support. So although essential oils are readily absorbed into our body, there are many ways to increase this absorption, um, particularly through diluting. So this simply means mixing it with a carrier oil. So this could be fractionated coconut oil, which is a bit different to regular coconut oil because it's had a certain fat removed from it, so it always stays in liquid form. Or you could use any other plain oil like almond oil or olive oil. The reason why fractionated coconut oil is great is because it won't clog your pores. It doesn't have a scent. So if you're mixing it with an essential oil, you're going to keep that essential oil scent rather than the scent of the um, carrier oil. And it's absorbed into the skin really easily too. So diluting also helps to spread your oil over a greater surface area. Um, it also helps to prevent any skin sensitivity. And it can also help to drive your oils deeper into your body. So I recommend always diluting oils if you're applying them topically. Um, but in particular, you should definitely do it if it's the first time you're using an oil topically, if you're putting them on kids or the elderly, or if you have um, sensitive skin too. There are some oils as well that you should just always have to dilute because they're considered hot oils. So these are oils like oregano, thyme, um, clove or cinnamon bark. And one of the best places to apply oils topically is to the bottom of your feet as it will enter your bloodstream really quickly. You could also apply them behind your ears, to, the, to your chest, the back of your neck or down your spine or obviously to a specific trouble area. So for example, if you have a sore or lower back, you want, you're going to want to apply the oil directly to your lower back. So you always though need to keep your oils out of your eyes, your ears and your nose, otherwise you're going to experience discomfort. Um, the third way to use doTERRA essential oils is internally. Now this is very spe specific to doTERRA essential oils because they're 100% pure, they're safe to ingest, whereas um, I would not be recommending digesting essential oils from any other company. So essential oils can give us a lot of health benefits um, when they're taken internally, and that can be through um, putting them in our foods, putting them in our drinks, or doTERRA have a specific supplement range that you can take to get the specific oil, um, the specific benefits out of taking essential oils internally. So for example, you can put citrus oils into your water to enhance the flavor, or like um, putting a drop of lemon oil into your water is going to help um, with your digestive system too. So if you are taking um, essential oils internally by popping them in water, you just always want to have that water in a glass or stainless steel container because if you use plastic, essential oils are going to draw the toxins out of that plastic and you don't want to then be um, ingesting that. So you can also use your essential oils in cooking. So peppermint oil is great to mix with chocolate. Oregano is great to use in place of dried oregano. So I use it in my spaghetti bolognese, but a little goes a long way. So I only use a drop or two to about one kilo of, one kilo of mints. Um, and the way that you can know whether or not you can take any of doTERRA's oils internally is because on the label, it will say for flavor and use. So there are some of their oils and particularly their blends that aren't designed to be taken internally. So they won't say have that for flavor and use as the direction on there. So although essential oils are really safe, there are still some things that you need to consider. So we all have different chemical kind of compositions and makeups and things that we react to. So just like some of us are allergic to some foods, some of us may have some sensitivities to particular oils. So whenever you're using an oil for the first time, you just always want to be aware of that possibility. So when I diffused that particular oil, did it make me sneeze more? Or when I um, applied that oil topically for the first time, did I get a skin irritation? It's unlikely to happen, but sometimes it can. So you just need to be aware of that. Um, another thing to be aware of is that citrus oils can be irritating if you put them onto your skin and then go directly into, sunlight, into the sunlight. 
So some of you in your teenage years may have um, tried putting, you know, you squeeze lemon juice into your hair, then go and sit in your sun to get some natural blonde highlights. And that's because the enzymes in citrus and sunlight react together. So obviously, if you're putting citrus on your skin and going into the sun, it's going to have that same reaction. So you just need to be cautious about that. As I said, you always want to put oils into a glass or stainless steel container so that they don't draw up toxins from plastic. If you were to get a skin irritation from an essential oil, what you'd want to do is either rub a lotion or a carrier oil on top of that and wipe it off. Oil and water don't mix, so you wouldn't want to be wiping water on there to try and get it off. Also, if you've got um, oils in your eye, don't use water to try to, to try to get it out. Use a vegetable oil to try and get it out of your eye. So your eye will be a tiny bit blurry, but it's going to help get the oil out, whereas water will actually drive the oil further in. So you don't need to remember all of this because when you get started with doTERRA, as I said, you join a community, my community, where you'll be provided with that ongoing support and education. So now I want to take you through doTERRA's um, top 10 oils. And these essential oils come in two forms. They come in blends or they come in single oils. So blends are specifically created by doTERRA scientists to target a certain part of our body or a function of our body. And I'm going to go through four of the most popular blends that doTERRA sells. So the first one is easier. And this is doTERRA's respiratory blend. And I want you to think of this is as a natural alternative to Vicks Vapor Rub. So it's designed to help dilate the lungs and oxygenate the body. So it's one that's great to diffuse to help with respiratory um, support. It's also one that's great to dilute and pop directly onto your chest or the bottoms of your feet also to help um, with congestion um, and, again, with that respiratory support too. So the next blend is On Guard. And this is doTERRA's protective blend. It smells like autumn in a bottle and it's designed to help support a healthy immune system and immune response. This is a great one to use um, in winter when there's illness going around and it's really great to help cleanse the air and great for cleaning too. So there's been a lot of studies done on, on, on Guard and it's shown to be able to kill 99% of bacteria. So On Guard is your one that you definitely want for winter or if there's any illness going around. The next one is Ice Blue, which is doTERRA's athletic blend. So think of this as your natural alternative to something like deep heat. It's designed to provide instant relief and help to sore muscles and also to help with long-term repair. So when I was pregnant, I used this um, diluted on my back for back pain. So it comes in this oil form and then it also comes um, in a rub cream. So you can, um, just an easier way to apply that directly to any kind of sources of pain or tension. And the last blend that I'm going to talk about is Digest Zen. Digest Zen, and this is doTERRA's digestive blend. Um, and as the name suggests, it's designed to help with all things digestion. So with bloating, constipation, gastro, nausea, it's a great one to dilute and then rub directly onto your stomach. It's also one that can be taken internally as well to help with digestive support. So next we're going to move on to um, doTERRA's single oils. So the first one we're going to talk about is lemon. So lemon is really cleansing and uplifting. So it's great to use in the kitchen um, for cleaning. It's also great to help um, cleanse the air, so to diffuse. It's also a great odour eliminator. It's really great at eating adhesive. So if you're taking a label off um, a jar and there's that sticky residue, pop a bit of lemon on it and rub it off and it will eat that, that adhesive. And it's also great to help boost your metabolism, so great to use in water. It's a great one to use in cooking too in place of lemon juice. So I like to put a drop of it on top of my avocado toast or when I'm making guacamole. It's also great mixed with peppermint and lavender to help with seasonal irritations um, or allergies. So moving on, our next one is peppermint. And peppermint is really cooling to the body and it's really helpful with um, digestive and respiratory support. It's also great to help with nausea. It's great for headaches. Um, it's a great pest deterrent, so ants hate peppermint. So placing a drop of peppermint near where ants are coming into your house will help to get rid of them. Um, and it's perfect matched with chocolate too, so you're using in cooking. And one of my favourite things to blend, to diffuse with peppermint is wild orange. It's a great, really uplifting diffuser blend. So the next oil that we're going to talk about is lavender. So lavender 
doTERRA's lavender oil is going to probably smell a little bit different to what you're used to in all those kind of beauty and skincare products because this is real lavender oil. So lavender is all things calming, which it, which is why it is in so many beauty products and in so many um, bath and spa products. So there are some people though for which lavender has an opposite effect and it's not calming. It's actually really energizing. So um, just be aware when you use lavender for the first time. So it's a great one to diffuse. It's a great one to use in the bathtub with Epsom salts. It's great to create linen sprays. It's really calming on the skin if you have any irritations. It's great to pop onto bug bites to help soothe the skin. And it, this is one that I love to put in on my stomach diluted when I was pregnant to help with that itchiness that happens as your skin is expanding. So next we're going to talk about tea tree. So Tea tree oil is the oil that I would take if I was stuck on a deserted island. So it's antifungal, it's antibacterial, and it's a great antiseptic. So it's very cleansing and rejuvenating. It's great for skin irritations. It's great um, to use on cold sores. I use it like I would Zavirax and have found the same success with it. It's great to put on blemishes. It's great for treating head lice. It's great for ear aches. Um, also great to pop in cleaning products too because of those antibacterial products. Um, I also use it in a nappy spray that I use um, on my baby with frankincense and lavender um, to help soothe and clean his skin. The next oil that we're going to talk about is frankincense. And frankincense is known as the king of all oils. It's basically an all-purpose oil. It's anti-inflammatory and it's very repairing and restorative too. It's a great mood booster. It's actually excellent for migraines. And it's the oil that if you don't know what to use, so if you're like, oh, I've got a headache or I've got whatever else, I don't know what oil to use, when in doubt, use frankincense. It's also an enhancer oil, which means that whenever you mix it with other essential oils, it's going to enhance the properties of those other oils that you've mixed it with. So a great one um, to have in your stash. And the last one that we're going to talk about is oregano oil. So oregano is a powerhouse oil and it's a powerful antiviral and it's kind of like nature's antibiotic. So this is great for infections and great to help with immune support and it's one that you would use um, more infrequently than, than all your other oils. If you were applying it topically, you wouldn't use it for more than seven to 10 days. It's also great to use um, in cooking. As I said, I like to use it um, in spaghetti bolognese. So great to use in place of dried or fresh oregano. Um, this is an oil too that you would always wanna dilute if you're using that topically. So they are doTERRA's top 10 oils. They have obviously heaps more oils than that, but um, this is just to give you an idea of what the most popular ones are. And also they're a great, they're a great place to get started. So if you are wanting to get started, if, if, this, if you liked kind of the sound of all this and you're thinking, yes, I want to get oils into my home, doTERRA's enrollment kits are the best way to get started. So I'm going to take you through four of my favorite enrollment kits. There are other enrollment kits that you can get started with, and there are also other ways of getting started um, with doTERRA essential oils that don't involve purchasing a kit. Um, I'm not gonna go through those, but if um, none of these kits kind of stand out to you, get in touch and I can help you work out um, what oils may be best for you and the best way for you to get started. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is the Home Essentials Kit. This is by far the most popular enrollment kit to get started with. So it includes those top 10 oils that I just took you through in a 15 ml bottle, which is about 250 drops of oil in each bottle. The only oil that comes in a five ml bottle is the Ice Blue, um, because doTERRA don't make it in a 15 ml bottle. So you get those top 10 oils and also you get a diffuser. So you can start um, getting the aromatic benefits from your oils straight away. So as you've got those, you'll have those top 10 oils with the home essentials and they're going to cover you for all your basic needs within your home. So you will get for $330, you will get the oils, the diffuser, plus you'll get 25% off retail prices for an entire year and plus you'll be linked in with my community as well. So that's the home essentials kit. The next kit is the nature solution kit. So this is the kit that if you are ready to make a lifestyle change, um, you love the sound of this, you love the sound of getting toxins out of your home as much 
as much as possible and trying out some natural solutions for you and your family. It includes the top 10 oils, plus a whole host of other oils that are great to have in your home. It includes some of doTERRA's other products as well. Um, so there's a women, Clary Calm is a women's monthly blend to help with hormone support. You've got Correct X, um, which is great to put on really dry lips, onto eczema, onto other skin irritations. You have got doTERRA's On Guard um, hand wash, their toothpaste, you've got the ice blue rub, a box to keep all your oils in and also some fractionated coconut oil so that you can start using your oils topically straight away. If you start with the Nature's Solution Kit, you will also, doTERRA will also give you 100 points to redeem on product in the future as well. Plus, you'll be getting that 25% off retail price for an entire year. The next kit that I want to talk about is the Essential Collection Kit. So this is if you're just kind of wanting to dip your um, toes into the world of essential oils. So this is those top 10 oils just in 5ml bottle form. So you'll get those, plus you also get a bottle of Smart and Sassy, which is doTERRA's metabolic blend. So this one's great to pop in water, great to diffuse to help um, curb those sugar cravings. So you'll get the top 10 oils, the Smart and Sassy, plus you'll also get 25% off retail price for an entire year. And then the last kit that I want to talk to you about is the doTERRA Touch Kit. So this is for those of you who are thinking, I really want to use my oils um, topically. So I want to be able to get all those benefits from applying them directly to my skin. So you get doTERRA's top 10 oils apart from lemon and they come in a pre-diluted roller. So then doTERRA dilutes them, so they're safe to use from kids all the way through um, to the elderly, and you can start using them topically straight away. So you'll get nine um, rollers, plus you'll also get doTERRA's On Guard and Peppermint Beadlets. So these are tiny little beads that contain um, essential oils, Peppermint beadlets are great to help with fresh breath, also nausea, and the On Guard beadlets are great to take to help with immune support too. So you'll get all of that plus 25% off retail for the entire year. Now, when you start with your kits, um, you're not going to be alone. You will never, our goal is that you should never have an oil sitting in your house that you don't know how to use because you're going to receive lots of ongoing education and support. You get a welcome pack from me, which contains a booklet with everything you need to know about getting started with your oils and how to use them safely. You'll have the opportunity to be a part of our oil camp, which is a two-week online course, which takes you through all the basics of essential oil use. You'll be um, linked in with lots of members only Facebook groups, where you'll be provided with ongoing education, and you can also ask any questions you want. And you'll have access to me to be able to ask any questions you need to. So you'll get ongoing education and support, not only from me, but also from Brook Griffin Brooke Wellness and also the Daily Essential Co. as well. So you will have lots of resources at your fingertips to be able to use these essential oils effectively. So hopefully that's given you some ideas for how to get essential oils into your home and, and use them um, on your family and, and in your household kind of products too. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Either pop um, questions in the comments section below or send me an email. And if you're ready to get started with one of those enrollment kits, please get in touch and I can help you do that straight away. So hopefully you found um, that really informative and really helpful.